I'd just like to share a few tips and ways to work with the articles panel, which is new in InDesign CS 5.5, because it's so new that, you know, it's kind of hard to tell what it's used for. <laughs> so I've got a few shortcuts as well that I want to show you, but the articles panel allows us to kind of create an association between objects in your page so that when you export for HTML or EPUB, for example, you can change how things are organized or ordered. Uh, you can also make it so that things don't show, which is kind of cool. So here's how it works. If you have some content on a page out here, you can see that we have our articles panel open. We can find the articles panel by going to Window Articles in InDesign CS 5.5. And what we do is we start out by creating articles. Now, there can be a million articles in your document, or there can be one article. It depends on how you want to split it up. So if I click Create New Article down here at the bottom, You'll see it's going to say, oh, well, what do you want to call this? I'll just call it whatever I want. You can call it, you know, cover, you know, some X name article, whatever you want. Include in exporting. I'll click OK. And what it does is it creates this shell called Article 1. What we can then do is we can do this 50 ways, but I can take content that I've got. And we typically start when we work with articles to organize things or to put them in order, so to speak. We start with the first page. I mean, that's you can start wherever you want, but that seems to me to be obvious. But... I click on content and drag it over, and you can drop it right on top of an article, and what it'll do is it'll stick it in that article, okay? Now, if you do drag and drop objects, and you can't drag and drop the same thing, you guys, because what it'll do is it'll say, oh, you've already got it in there. Matter of fact, if I drag it on top of article one, you'll see, oh, it's already there. If I drag and drop out in the blank area out here and let go, it's going to say, oh, let's create another article. So this could literally be another article, or it could be another section of your document, whatever you want. Another way to do this is this way. I love this. If I click to deselect, if we want to add all the content out here, here's what we can do. If we already have an article and we don't want to drag everything in, we can go out to the menu in articles and say add document content to selected articles. I'll click on that and all the content from the document will be added. Now another way we can do this, let me go in here and I'm going to delete article one and I'll click to make a new one. Click OK. Another way we can do this, if I want to add page one content, I could select all of the content on page one. Now, mind you, it's not going to do my master content um, in some cases because it's on the master page. I'll click out here and go add selection to selected articles. And it'll add just that content. Okay. Now, another way, I know, another way to do this, I'll delete it. This is the way I prefer typically. I'll delete, deselect everything. Come over here to the panel. You'll see this plus. It says add selection to articles. You can also control click to add all page items. Now, technically, this is all document icon uh, items rather. So if I control click on Windows, command click on Mac, the plus, it'll say, oh, let's make an article. I'll click OK. And you can see it does kind of what we did in two steps before, but it does it in one step. So I can drag this open. Now, if we want to, we can go in and double click on the article and change the name. We can also tell it not to include when exporting. Now, this is one of the reasons why some people uh, for EPUB or HTML, they'll create separate articles for content that they might not want. Like maybe they don't want the videos to go because it's not supported yet or something, okay, in the, in the reader they want to go to. Well, we could create another article for that content, or we can also do this. If I click on something on the page... You'll see over here in the articles, it will select it and say, oh, there it is right there. And that's in Article 1. Now, conversely, I can come over and double click on one of these and it will select it over here on the page. Now, since we're just looking at the content here to see how things are organized and what's going to show up, if this was an EPUB, an ebook, I'd make sure that everything was in the right order. So I'd be dragging these around. You guys can drag them in different orders and they would actually appear that way in either the web page or in the uh, EPUB. Now, suppose that I'm doing this and I realize that in the EPUB, I don't want the video. Okay, well, I've clicked on it. I can see it's selected over here. We can just go down and delete that from the articles list, and that will not show in the EPUB. Same thing, if you go to export HTML, suppose that I come over here to the background, and I'm like, oh, I'll put a background in the document. I don't want that now. I can delete it. It won't delete on the page, you'll see, but if I go to file export, let me do that. And I'll do it as HTML, you guys, a little faster. I'll go uh, HTML, put it on my desktop, save it out. You're going to see right here, in either EPUB or HTML, I've got same as articles panel. So it'll look and see what's there, and it'll look and see what order it's in. So I'll click OK. It'll export it. 
And we've got some issues with links missing. That's fine. I knew that. Me being lazy. And there we go. So you can see basically that the, the content I said don't be there. The background and the video are not there. So that's kind of cool. All right, let me close that up. So anyway, you can use the article panel, like I said, for EPUB. You can use it for HTML. You can use it to reorder things or organize things. You can also use it for this. If you work with PDF, the one thing I love about this is the fact that you can go in and make it a PDF more accessible by coming to articles here and say, use for reading order in tagged PDF. So if you want to change the read order, you can change the content here by dragging. And there's a lot of other features in InDesign CS55 for PDF. I didn't want to get too far into that, but that's another great feature of working with articles. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an overview of the articles panel in InDesign CS 5.5 and what it's used for.